Yes! So here is Kat again. I'm Catrion aka Kat and I'm going to show you some new smocking stitches where I combine other smocking stitches to make more intricate smocking stitches. Ah, so let's turn it over. This is a good side right here. Notice? Beautiful. Beautiful. All these little gathers are where the smocking will go down. Okay, so you need a needle. Definitely need a needle that has a somewhat large-ish eye. I know you can't see it because it's not adjusting. You need some thread. Uh, regular embroidery thread is definitely not expensive and there should be a little piece hanging out of the end. You're going to need a good bit of thread, maybe about two to three feet, two to three feet of thread, I think. Maybe it should work. And just like I said before, you have to lick it before you stick it. So you take the end of the thread and you wet it and then you squeeze it and push it through the hole. Sometimes you might, you might need to twist it to be able to go through the hole. Some people break apart the embroidery stitches. I don't bother with the, I mean the embroidery thread. I don't bother with that. Now, you don't want to put both ends together. You just want to leave one end free and you're going to just wrap it around your fingers and then you're just going to twist it and then hold it and pull and you're going to have a big knot. Now, you can always start it with a back stitch in the back. I never really showed you all how to do the Van Dyke stitch properly. Now, notice there are two folds right at the end. See, two gathers, right? Two gathers. I want to stick my needle up into the second to the last gather. So not this one, but the one right over there. So I'm sticking my needle up through that gather. See, so it's right at the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm... I'm going to hold my thread up in the air. I called it a wheat stitch, a wheat stitch or a Van Dyke stitch. So now what you're going to do is you hold the thread up like this. See, it's going up in that direction. And you're going to pick up, you're going to go through both of those folds. See? So now you're going, the needle has to be under this thread. Going through both of those, both of those gathers. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold the thread up again, go to the bottom of this light pink row. See this is dark pink, light pink row. You're going to the bottom of the dark pink row and you're picking up the last gather, the last gather you had and a new gather. So you're picking up a last gather and a new gather. So you put them both on the needle and you're going to go through them. Right? Now the first one might not look so nice but the rest will. Now at, you're at the bottom of the the pink light pink row, and so you have to hold the thread down this way to make the the stitch neat. So you're gonna go pick, you're going to go straight through those two the same two gathers again with the needle. Boom. All right, so it's starting to look kind of squiggly and weird. Kind of looks like a honeycomb. You hold it down again, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up the last gather you went through, not the other one you're going through the last gather at the top and a new gather so you have a la the last gather that's being held by these stitches down here and a new gather that is not being held so see so now it's looking kind of like this it kind of looks like a squiggly squiggly but as I get away from the edge of the cloth it will look better anyway so you add the top of the light pink row now so when you're at the top you hold the thread up like this when you're at the bottom you hold it down so the thread has to be held up like this you go through the same two gathers again okay same two gathers again yes so then you hold it up again and you go through the last gather the last gather you went through and a brand new gather and you're going right in between of the light pink row and a dark pink row so it's like right right in between of those two gathers and then you hold it down when you're at the light pink on the on the bottom of the light pink row and you go straight through those same two spots again the same two gathers so it's starting to look like this Yes. Then you go up, you pick 
you hold a thread down like this and you pick up the last gather you went through and a new brand new gather see so you pick up the last gather that's been held by the strings down here and you're up to the top of the light pink row so you hold it up and you go through the same two gathers again same two gathers and notice that this stitch is being worked from the right side to the left side unlike the other stitches that are worked from left to right so that's what makes this a lot different so you hold it up again you hold it right up because you're still up to the top you pick up the last gather you you went through and a brand new gather and you're going right between the light pink row and the dark pink row it's nice when the cloth has lines on it so you know exactly what's going on so you know exactly where you're supposed to pick up so you're at the bottom you hold the thread down and you go through those same those same two gathers again you do want to give it a little tug but not a lot of tug I want to back up a little bit so you can see what's going on you're at the bottom so you hold it down pick up a new gather I mean pick up the old gather you went through and a new one so you got them both on the needle you hold the thread down make sure you, you got that thread down and you pull it through you're at the top of the gather the gathers um, you're at the top of the light pink row and the dark pink row is up here so you hold the thread up and you go through those same gathers again it's just a repetitive thing over and over so you hold it up when you're up down when you're down you go through the last gather and a new gather boom and then go through it again ouch uh-huh so it should look kinda neat when I spread it apart aha uh -huh. yeah what I thought what hold up I don't think I made this one tight enough but that's okay cuz I can fix it yes okay and it's just a continuous process you hold the thread down when you're down pick up the last gather the new gather and then hold it up when you're up and go through the same two gathers again hold it up again go through go to the bottom and pick up the last gather and the new gather boom and then go through hold it down hold the thread down and go through those same two gathers again alright so that's a Van Dyke or a wheat stitch and it should look very neat don't worry about mine because that was right on the very edge of the fabric it's not pulled together properly 